Okay, we have a... We have another 11-year-old with us tonight, Johnny Winters. <laughs> Jonathan Winters has probably had uh, as much influence on other comedians as anybody I know, but nobody can be Johnny Winters. He is unique. Uh, he has a movie coming out called Moon Over Parador with Richard Dreyfuss. It's coming out in August. And he has a book out called uh, Winter's Tales, Stories and Observations for the Unusual. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Would you welcome Jonathan Winters? I was certainly taken with the little girl. Yeah, isn't she nice? I really was. I, you know, at 11, of course, I was still doing this. If I give you... Oh, they were saying that. <laughs> if I give you four apples and three more, how many do you have? <laughs> Too many for my lunchbox. <laughs> At 11. Not funny. Yeah. Not funny to the teacher. No. And this kid is in college. This kid is in college. Boy, it must be. Of course, she's doing a smart thing from my standpoint. She's dating a 19-year-old. <laughs> because that guy is probably very sophisticated. Uh, and, uh, you know, type, Hi, honey, how are you? Here's another copy of Mice and Men. <laughs> are you? Well, I mean... I don't were know. Were you That's any not good in school? I, you... I was kidding. I was kidding. What, what were you like in school? Were you, what was I like? Were you disruptive? Oh. Were you a. No, I wasn't. I now, was, most people uh, would think you're crazy. I yeah. know that. Well, they do today. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but years ago, I was a very normal child. Too normal, probably. I wasn't making any money. Um, <laughs> no, uh, my parents were divorced. I won't go into a long thing in deference to they're gone anyway. But oh, I'm sorry to uh, the thing was that. Uh, Dad was off, you know, somewhere in an open field or, you know, settling insurance policies near a creek bank. And so I I just didn't know about him where he was. And yeah. it was always explained he's away. Everybody in our family was away a lot. Where's Uncle, uh, you know, Aunt Emma? She's away, dear. You never knew where. Well, well, I knew that eventually as I went by one of the institutions. There was, I, But at any rate, uh, mom, mom did her best, yeah. and, and she tried. But I, I struggled because I, you know when people say it's as you asked the little girl, which was interesting. Said, "What are some of your favorite subjects, and what do you excel in?" Well, when you're 11 and in college, of course you excel in everything. Yeah. Um, I just I was blown in all departments. Math was not my best. Yeah. I really I got as far as geometry, and. Uh, I thought that was just, I mean, having been tutored in literally everything from the apples to algebra, <laughs> A square plus B square, and we sitting there. still remember that. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> because I remember the students going up and finishing. <laughs> and I was always like this, you know. I, when she was, it was interesting, I really taken by her philosophy, some of those words. Um, when it was always uh, John Winter's uh, uh, problem number six, and I was... Uh, I be, but you become an actor. It's interesting. I, 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 I was calling on, you know, failures then. I mean, mind failures, uh, arthritis in both feet. Uh, so I'd say, I can't walk, sir. I can't walk to the board. Maybe if you bring the board to me. Get up. Surely, surely. But... Uh, I like the multiple choice stuff because you had a shot at it. You know? Where you, did you, you take, go to school? You could take a guess. Did you have multiple choice? Sure, we had. I of told you, Doctor Nindler, <laughs> you cheated me. We didn't get the multiple choice. Well, I mean... God bless you. The, es the essays were the worst. The oh, blue book the of the essays. essays. I never. Oh, well, now you're talking about college with the yeah. blue book. I was in college just about an hour. <laughs> First of all, they paddled me. I wasn't used to that. I'd come out of three years in the Marines, and a guy said, "Assume the angle," and I said, "What angle are we talking about?" We're back to geometry again. <laughs> so. Uh, I grabbed the ankles. How many times? Very, you know, in those days, really in shape. Yeah. Had the 32 waist, and we didn't have steroids in those days. We picked each other up. If you could find an attractive man, you know, with <laughs> well built, oh yeah, without going too far, building, uh, 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 the arms automatically grow. Um, no, the guy spanked me or paddled me, and, and I had to repeat all the chapters, and apparently there were a lot of chapters in the deke. And that was it, huh? Well, that was it for him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just... I forgot uh, you. Of course you were in the Marines. Yeah, right. I just... Well, the three three years, I... 
I really, I don't know where I was. I didn't know where I was a lot because we weren't told. And uh, many of the time, you know, people say where we were. I was, I knew we were in the Pacific. You were in the Marines, yes, right? You were, yes. became a general. No, Colonel. Don't really? Colonel, just a Colonel. That's as good as a general. <laughs> All right. You must be very proud of that. Thank you. Did you strafe a lot of workers in the field? <laughs> Guys at El Toro. Mm. You know, well, nice to see you having shame. <laughs> My seat just went down. Hey, hey. My seat just went down. Hey, hey. You may be. Hey, how about this? No, no. God, I thought he we may were canceled. Be he may. I thought it was all over. The seat just went. Well, you may be dating the little girl. <laughs> That's what the hell happened. Yeah. Fix me. Get up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. Uh, <laughs> Are you all right? Well, when it's over, it's over. All right. NBC is cruel the way they tell you that just the seat goes down and they move somebody in. I thought the little girl was going to run in. Hey, he's my size now. I, uh, I haven't seen you for a while. Do you take a vacation? Um, what you call a vacation vacation? Go somewhere? Well, I, Johnny, I've been on so many. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, as a matter of fact, and I'm not making this up, you know, some stuff I have to. <laughs> I mean, if you return home late at night, you better have a story. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, at any rate, I'm going fishing in two weeks uh, with a companion. And, uh, oh no, wonderful guy. And, uh, I wanted to take a girl, but I'm married. Um, so I found this guy that, you know, uh, fingers are gone. But at any rate, uh, we're going up to, we're going to fly from here, LAX, to yeah. Minneapolis, and then Minneapolis to International Falls, and then to Bermidji, a little place. Yeah. That's where the river, Mississippi River. Yeah. Interesting piece of history. A little, little girl might be interested in this. Yeah. <laughs> It's only about that wide, so anybody can step over the Mississippi right at Bermidji. Um, there are no fish there. You have to take dynamite to get anything. But uh, then we go into Canada and do a lot of this, you know. And, oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. It, it should be. Camping, if it isn't, I'm down. Camping out and cooking and all that stuff? Well, it's, it's fun if you don't get bitten by a snake. I got bitten one year, and uh, I don't want to get into where I was bitten, but it stopped fishing right away. <laughs> But at any rate, it was, it was, it, it is, it's just fun to get outdoors. Yeah. You know? we'll, we'll sell a little something here, and then we'll, oh. we'll, we'll come back. Stay where you are. <laughs> yes, our friend, we're right here. Uh, every time John comes on, we kind of give him a little exercise here, uh, since you do so many characters. We're talking about traveling. I'm going to give you a couple of names of, say, tourists from other countries who are coming over to America on vacation, and you just give me your impressions or why they came here or wherever it flows, all right? Um, British agent Leslie Sitzpuffin. Actually, it's it's Fitzpuffin. Sitz, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's mispronounced. It was with the when I was first a young agent, and obviously still being mispronounced. But that's ter perfectly understandable and perfectly all right. I've never been in all my travels. I was in the British Army, uh, and, I, and as a youth, I wasn't with any army. I was just mainly at home in in Devon. <laughs> but uh, when I when I uh, jumped out of school, I went uh, directly to Africa, and then we engaged the uh, Italians there, and, and, uh, and, and the Germans too, and I was in the bloody war for some time, and then, then that time took its toll, and I went to India and raised snakes, and, uh, and then uh, now, and now I want to go to America, and I, I my chief reason for going, there's yes. so many reasons, I mean, you think of 50 states, my yeah. God, in heaven, that's a tremendous amount of people in a vast country, I can only think of China and Russia being... Uh, as big, or Africa, America's right in there, it's just enormous. <laughs> and so much going on, you know, color TV and automobiles on the highways and pretty girls doing things. And so <laughs> I, uh, I want to go and see a baseball game. Oh, really? I, any man that makes a couple of million pounds with a mitten in the middle of summer, uh, <laughs> catching a silly white ball and hitting something with a stick, I want to see it. Yes. <laughs> Well, if I don't see it, I suppose I'd go directly to an apartment and put my head near an air conditioning unit. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Leslie. How about uh, Monsieur Francois Dufault? Yeah, Monsieur Dufault. Mr. Dufault. Uh, Dufault. I mispronounced your name again. No, no, it's all right. You know, it, uh, Dufault is correct. 
Um, you know, foo in uh, in French means crazy. I didn't know that. Oh yes, I am very aware of that. Francois de crazy. The Francois de foo. Francois de crazy. You yes, know, sir. when it's translated into English at any rate. But I, my reason for coming to America, like the other man, I uh, I was uh, I was never in a war. It was unfortunate. I couldn't go. I had uh, double murmur in the mind or something. <laughs> And my uh, décolle, mon sac à chez ton son du, which is mind murmuring. <laughs> and uh, the eyes roll around and you can't concentrate on the artillery. <laughs> so uh, I passed on that and had just a series of affairs de son cher. Yeah, I see. And, uh, but I'm going to America because I've always wanted to go to Hollywood. Hollywood? Oh, yes. I've been married, you know, six or seven times, oh, you know. Oh, yes. And uh, I'd like to try one more, you know? <laughs> Maybe go to Anaheim for a honeymoon and... Um, <laughs> whatever, you know, I... But I have seen so many beautiful women, you know? They're not all in Paris or Bordeaux or Monaco or, uh, you know, Algiers or whatever, Italy. There are a number of them, you know, right in Hollywood. The young girls who are 25, uh, 30, 35. Right now, I would settle for a woman about 48. <laughs> Good woman who just said, I know a woman down the street where I live is like that. She carries a ghetto blaster, you know. Ah. Well, it's totally nice that you're here. Now, now let's talk to a, a tourist from Germany, Hans Beldenhofer. Yes, that's exactly right. Well done. <laughs> Good thinking. Hans Beldenhofer. Hans Beldenhofer. Obviously, I'm German, you know? And uh, a lot of people uh, during uh, the, the engagement I was in uh, thought I was Dutch. <laughs> I started out with the Edom cheese as a child. <laughs> and uh, we captured a guy by a windmill when Father and I were visiting Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> um, my main reason for coming to America is to visit the cemeteries. Big pardon? Uh, uh, cemeteries. I love uh, battlefields. Oh, I see. Really, I should have said battlefields. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you know, if you die there with a cannon, yes. or you just, <laughs> whatever, you know. But I want to also see my dream. And I am originally from, well, originally from Bavaria, you know? What? <laughs> ah, yeah, I recognize her. <laughs> Fräulein Steckler. <laughs> Fräulein Steckler. I thought you'd raise your hand sooner or later. <laughs> Used to be in that letter code in Paraguay. Uh, <laughs> it gave you away. At any rate, uh, I, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing Detroit. And, Detroit? Oh, yeah. Any major city with all those incredible, marvelous people and those guys that sit down at the drawing boards and make the cars, they goofed. And... Uh, <laughs> I want to see why Detroit made a mistake. Yes. Yeah. Well, sir. Other than that, you know, a couple of steins, a little beer. Prost it. Yeah, Ooh, jeez, you hit that a good lick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hans. Uh, want to mention. Okay. You actually went to, uh, to, to, to Paraguay to make this movie? Well, no, we went to Brazil. Brazil, excuse me. Went yeah. to Brazil um, a year ago. Moon over Paraguay. Moon over Paraguay. It won't be out. I... I wish we had anything, a still. We have nothing. Uh, one of the rare times, you know, an actor sits there and, and starts to talk about a movie. We have nothing for you to see. Uh, you'll just have to wait like me. So yeah, crash. Um, we went down a year ago, uh, August first, first or trip, September. First trip? Then? First trip. For, well, I've been down to Columbia. I shouldn't drop heavy names, but... Oh, good. Colombians are a little bit of everything here tonight. Two hands here, one lady from Germany. Incredible. Uh, went down to uh, Colombia years ago, and I've been in, uh, uh, let's see, um, well, Peru, which I really loved. I, oh, two from Peru. <laughs> <laughs> you rascal. Here's something else. Throw a light on that person. You know they're from Encino. Uh, uh, at any rate, um, I love Peru. Much, yeah. much of it. But we, in Brazil, we had a marvelous time. Uh, uh, Richard Dreyfus, who's yeah. a fantastic actor and one of the hottest properties around, uh, uh, did a great job uh, along with Raul Julia, who was, uh, uh, he just uh, finished that series uh, on Onassis, where he... Yeah, he played uh, yeah. Aristotle Onassis. And yeah. he's an exciting actor, uh, along with Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, 
a wonderful guy and, and, and a guy that's been around since he was before the little 11 year old. Uh, <laughs> it was a great guy and a lot of fun to be with. Did you I, speak the I, language at all? Did I speak the or language? Did you just make it up? Well, I can speak Spanish uh, if you put something to the head and uh, that's uh, quite long and black, then uh, <laughs> chances are we'll talk about the tires and the and coche. No se me mi esposa me enfermo. Donde es el coche aquí? You know, and Mondia, su muerte, maracón. Whatever comes to you, you know. You got to do. You got to throw a lot of things yeah. around very fast. Yeah. Uh, uh, Despacio, you know, the guy will say, hopefully, the guy from Paraguay or from Brazil. They're Portuguese yeah. in Brazil. Yeah. Marvelous country. Uh, I took a lot of pills and they didn't work. Um, I, for food and other reasons. And I was just up all night watching Portuguese television and, and just sort of, oh. <laughs> um, and then of course in my lap, I had some, most of the times when you do go to the commode, the bathroom, whatever they want to call it, El baño. Yeah, the baño. Is it a baño? El baño. Well, I went to a baño, there was another guy in there. <laughs> Banyo. Now you're talking about something else with the banyo because I saw a big pair of Adidas, you know. Um, so at any rate, uh, but I we had a great time. Paul Mazursky yeah. was the guy that directed. Was a fantastic guy, a really a funny, funny man. And I, it comes out August 5th, which I realize yeah, this is May. <laughs> How fast we are! Um, Look, when it comes out, come back and bring a film clip. I've got to come back before that, Johnny. I need the money. Um, <laughs> I will. I'll come back and bring a film clip. It, 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 but I, I hope I'll, I just want to set a seed, as it were, in your, in your little mind as you're sitting up in bed or if you're lying alongside the bed, you know, you just put that down on a crippled piece of paper. Moon and say, over Moon Parador. over Parador. He'll be out in August. And we'll be back. <laughs>